The lead up to the launch of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has not been without its troubles. There's been a few controversies surrounding this game. I just thought we'd make a video on it. We are super hyped for Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> and we all love a bit of gossip, exactly. let's be honest. Exactly. If you're also super hyped for Tears of the Kingdom, hit the like button down there. Maybe consider subscribing because we are going to be doing a literal <laughs> ton of Tears of the Kingdom content. Well, let's move on quickly before we have to bleep out any more of Tom's swears. And let's talk about all of the juiciest Tears of the Kingdom gossip. Okay, let's kick this off with the most recent drama. Honestly, hopefully by this video's release, it'll all be done and dusted. But for the moment, the gaming publication Kotaku kind of looks a bit dumb. So one of the senior editors for Kotaku recently complained on Twitter about them not getting early access to Tears of the Kingdom. Now, whether this is because they have been a bit dumb with Nintendo IPs before, or if Nintendo is just like, you're gonna be dumb this time, we're not actually sure. Yeah, we don't actually know. But either way, Nintendo and Kotaku are not really on speaking terms. They couldn't get a preview copy of Tears of the Kingdom, so instead they're just covering all of the leaks. Because the full game has leaked. That's controversy number two. Yeah. And Kotaku is just like, you know what? We're just going to cover all that. So um, guess what? They're never getting access no. to Nintendo <laughs> stuff ever again. Probably not. Probably you big not. dummies. You okay. big stupid dumbs. <laughs> Look, I mean, they're within their rights to cover the leaks, mm. but they ain't getting access to any of Nintendo. They shut themselves in the foot forever now. They're definitely not going to be invited to Nintendo's birthday party. Well, we already leaked the second controversy. <laughs> so many leaks these days, man. Yeah, the whole game leaked. The whole Tears of the Kingdom game leaked, which Ooh. is really bad. I feel like I can't go on the internet anymore because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. I already feel like with the 10 minute game preview and the amount of trailers that we've gotten that I already know too much. Yeah, we definitely know enough. Yeah. And we don't need to know anything more. So be careful out there. Some brave souls are streaming it. The Nintendo Ninjas are coming for you. Yeah, surely they would be. Publications like Kotaku are trying to ruin it for everyone as well. So just be careful out there, friends. Mm -hmm. Unless you love spoilers, then go nuts, I guess. Okie dokie, so now that we've got the current drama out of the way. Oh man, it feels like I'm back in high school, it's ridiculous. <laughs> now that we've got that out of the way, let's go back to primary school when the game was first announced and let's look at some of the controversies that have been lingering since then. First up, the $70 price tag. Nintendo is releasing its first 70 US dollar game. How do you feel about this one, Marie? Breath of the Wild costs $90 for us already, so it's really not much different for us, to be honest. It's literally no different for us. Breath of the Wild costs $90, this one costs $90, but we're not talking about us. What about no, the people about in the United else. States? Yeah, it does suck that it's the most expensive Nintendo Switch first party game, I suppose, but yeah. Just full stop, not yeah. first party. Full stop, the most expensive Switch game ever. Hopefully it doesn't set a precedent and mean that a lot of other games are also going to go up in price. Hopefully it's just this one because they put so much work into making it truly amazing and they put heaps of money into the budget to create the best game ever. That's it. That is literally it. Nintendo put so many man hours into this. It will be the biggest and probably most impressive Switch game of all time. Nintendo didn't set the precedent. Sony and Microsoft did. Mm -hmm. They were always going to follow suit. Honestly, this is just the natural progression of things. Yeah, PlayStation games are already like over $100 here anyway. So it was just a matter of time until mm -hmm. Nintendo caught up, honestly. And if they can do it with any game. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Exactly. $70? But this game's just DLC. $70 DLC? What the hell is this BS? You can charge us 70 bucks and then give us DLC. I feel like that was the main thing I heard about the game when it was announced, honestly, was that people just thought it was DLC instead of a new game. But everybody knew that they were going to reuse the assets that they had. They weren't going to like... That's what a sequel is, man. 
Yeah, it is what a sequel is. You, you, you've, you've built an ed, a thing in an engine and you've got these character models and, and animations that you, you use again. <sighs> Honestly, this happens every single time a sequel comes out. Happened with God of War Ragnarok, happened with Horizon Forbidden West, it's happening with Tears of the Kingdom. When are people gonna stop? I feel like it's well established after all of the gameplay and trailers that we've seen that there's more than enough gameplay elements that have been added. It's definitely different enough, so. This is a controversy that is no longer a valid controversy. Yeah, goodbye. I feel like this next controversy is quite topical at the moment because Tears of the Kingdom is not the only big budget first party title being released that is running at 30 frames per second. Shots. Fire. <laughs> but yeah, needless to say, people aren't very happy with it. But on the other hand, it's the Switch. It's never going to run at 60 FPS, guys. It's going to drop some frames here and there. That's just what happens on the Switch. But we do know from previews that the draw distance is like huge. You can see a lot of the map from the Sky Islands high above. Mm -hmm. So pop in apparently isn't even that big of an issue. Yeah, hopefully, because I feel like that's another issue that plagues games these days. But yeah, it is going to be 30 FPS. I don't know, maybe if you like squint your eyes a little bit, you won't notice so much. <laughs> okay, I'll try it. Is the 30 FPS still a valid controversy? Well, I mean, it's an expected controversy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I don't think it's controversial. I think it's just... A An thing. expectation. Yeah. That is upsetting to say though, like I do wish that it wasn't a given that it would only be 30 FPS, but it's just, it just is. Yeah, it's just a switch, man. Yeah. You, like you cannot expect more. We so still love it though. It's not possible on the hardware. Yeah. It's so not. we're not playing online Call of Duty where like every frame counts. It's just not a big, it's just not a deal. No biggie. Let alone a big one. Not even a small one. Yeah, I know for some people it's a deal breaker though. Let us know if it's a deal breaker for you in the comments below because a lot of people do struggle to ignore performance blemishes. So this last topic, if you will, it's not a controversy. It's more of a question, mm. both to the universe and to you guys. Let us know the answer in the comments. Will Tears of the Kingdom become the highest selling Zelda game of all time? Breath of the Wild has over 25 million units shipped currently, which is insane. What do you think, Laura? I think it will sell more than Breath of the Wild, but I don't know if it will be able to become the highest selling Switch game of all time, just because the Mario Kart numbers by being in the bundle, you know, you get the Switch and it comes with Mario Kart, so it automatically boosts its numbers. I 100% agree with that. I don't think it's gonna outsell the casual market of a Mario Kart. But I think with the Switch's install base currently, it has a very, very good chance mm -hmm. of becoming the highest selling Zelda yeah. game of all time. It'll take over Breath of the Wild, I think, because if you bought Breath of the Wild, you probably loved it and you're probably really excited for this. I love how, how you could just you not? everyone who's played Breath of the Wild loves it. Oh, I reckon it would be 98%. <laughs> it's Laura's favorite game of all time. Can you tell? All right, everybody, thank you so much for sticking with us through this little, I guess, ramble of a goss video. Goss session. Yeah, nice little goss goss. Oh, I should have told you earlier to get a tea. Steaming hot cup of tea. Huh? It means that you're going to, like, share some gossip. The tea. Oh, like sharing gossip over a cup of tea. I guess that's what it means. It's just what the kids are saying these days. Oh. Next week, we are going to have the unboxing of the Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition. The, <laughs> the Tears of the Kingdom Switch, the Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller, whole bunch of Amiibos. Honestly, we're spending like $1,000 next week, so. Worth it. Please watch that video. <laughs> please like, please subscribe, please watch the video. We'll see you then. Juicy goss. <laughs>